Hey guys, I'm here to bring another video. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Um, anyway, I am here to show you on how to get this freakity awesome, awesomely awesome armor here. So yes, this is a smithing tutorial on how to get to a hundred. Um, as you can see, if you look at our skill tree right here, as you can see, I've been really working really hard on smithing. Got all my stars on it. So, um... This is what we're trying to work for, right there, Daedric. The freaking awesome with extra awesome drizzled on top. So, and that's what we need. It's a lot harder than it looks, but with me showing you what to do, it will be a lot easier. So, anyway. First, what we're going to do, as I show off all my freaking awesome armor, you know, because I'm like that. Here's also these magic bow. Um, yes, I need to uh, better enchant these, but they kind of suck. So I got both of those. I normally use these two. So I normally use those two. I normally use my axe, my magic axe, and my full sword. So yeah. Anyway, so over here, it's kind of dark, so I'm going to wait. Sorry. Oh. Ha, just saved this time. Alright. Anyway, now we go through here. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. We should be smithing. Alright. Now that I've used my annoying and retarded voice, and I will say that, because, you know, it's true. So, anyway. Dude, how many times am I gonna say anyway? Anyway. <laughs> Alright, Daedric here. So those that's what we need. We need empony ingots and a Daedric heart. Oh yeah. Um just for you guys I'll craft a Daedric dagger. You know. Never can have enough Daedric daggers, you know. Actually you kinda can, but I'll go with it. And then at 100, you get the stupid dragon plate armor, which you're really never going to use if you have Dage Karma. It's going to be a lot easier to get those, uh, the dragon plate and scale armor. But they both kind of suck really bad. So, that's what not we're going for. We're going for Dage Karma. So, there is really two great ways on how to do this. And this is after the, uh, the after the update so this is after the whole iron daggers cheat that you could like keep on doing it over and over and over and over again so it's not like that anymore so um people used to do that like all the time i i got this game after that so i wouldn't even play this game whenever that um that update was out so so what you want to do is you still want to make some iron daggers. I mean, it's not going to do very much to you for you. But what you actually want to do is you want to make, um, if I can find it. Where are you? Ah, boots. Okay. You want to make a couple of these, like a lot. I don't. Ah, it's gauntlets. You want to make a whole ton of gauntlets over and over and over and over again. Okay, you get the deal. Okay. And that at least upgrades your thing, your um, the thing right there, the level at least maybe a quarter of the way, maybe a quarter of the way until like level 40. So after you're done with the at level 40, you don't want to use the iron gauntlets anymore. You don't want to make them. So after you're done with the iron gauntlets, you want to go to leather. So after that, you want to make leather racers and this will get you until level 50 about a quarter of the way every single time so um, these are just some simple um, requirements this will take you a, a lot of supplies and a lot of things and that thing that the girl is using over there on the side I don't know if you can see it she's using a tanning a tanning rock and you can make stuff out of that so and after that, you want to, after the leather, you want to go to Dwarven and make a whole ton of Dwarven, um, uh, 
daggers. And you just want to keep on making dwarven daggers until 55, and then after that you want to make dwarven gauntlets. And um, you will need iron ingots for this, but you'll need dwarven metal and strips and and steel ingots for that. A lot of materials, but it will at least make you level up at least a quarter every single time you make it through uh, 55 to 65. So after you make that, those gauntlets, then you want to hurry and go to. Well, you don't need to hurry. You want to go and get to Orkish, and um, you want to make the Orkish boots all the way into. Um, I know, is it boots? No, gauntlets. Do orcish gauntlets. You just want to keep on making this until 65 to 75. And, um, like I said, this is going to use a lot, a lot of materials. So, um, yeah. So, ebony. You don't want to use ebony at all because it takes a lot of stuff out of you. So, after you're at 75, you want to, um, Okay, after 75 uh, of making the gauntlets, then you want to go to um, boots to uh, 75 to 80, and then at 80, you want to make some glass um, gauntlets until 85, and then boots, glass boots to 90, and um, yeah, like I said, I was going to show you how to get to a hundred. So, um, that's an easy task, huh? So, this will take a lot, a lot of materials to make. But this is one of the most efficient ways. You could do the really slow way and just make a whole ton of iron daggers. Just keep on making them over and over and over again. And, yeah, so... And I'm getting too fat. Getting too fat to run. Alright. Anyway, you're at 90 now, and you want to keep on making, um, glass, um, thing, yeah, glass daggers. You want to keep on making glass daggers until 100. So, unless you want to use your danger hearts, and I will be making a video on how to make, get danger hearts, and, um, you could just make a whole ton of danger gauntlets, really anything, but you need ebony ingots, and those cost a lot of money. So I just recommend the dagger, or if they're better for you, then just get the great swords. But they take a lot more um, stuff to use or materials. So this is my video on how to make it to a hundred. Um, there is a semi other way: is you can make um, these. You can make silver but silver is kind of hard to find and um, I wouldn't recommend it unless you have a lot of silver ingots like I do I only have six ingots and that's still quite a bit so um, this will level you up a lot it will at least level you up until about maybe a quarter until you're level 50 so unless you have a lot of silver ingots then I would do this but if you don't then I would not recommend it if you're on the computer version then you can hack into it and make and duplicate it or you can duplicate silver ingots and then be my guest I don't even know how to duplicate so I'll figure it out or something so yeah let's go ahead and do whatever really so yeah I hope you liked this video and um, comment if you liked it or like it or subscribe and I would love it and yeah so, give me a heads up, and if you like this video, so, um, yeah, and have a good day. Bye.